This is breathtaking. <laughs> How many we got? We should count up. I had a scarf. Oh, Look at all the beautiful colors. colors. It was so cold before. Now I'm so cozy. I think it's loose enough. Beautiful. I'm gonna need more necks. <laughs> it's the like crack the whip. Look at all the beautiful colors. that because I don't think anybody else has been bored enough to try it. But I thought it was nice. Everybody got a little warmer here by, by tying themselves together with this scarf today. My wife likes to watch TV and I hate watching TV. Uh -huh. So I knit one color for every TV program I watch with her. So this is kind of my bank of investment. With her. Wow. That's brilliant. So can you identify a particular program by the color and type of knit that you have? No, that would have been pretty great. I wish they No, what you just did there was a kind of genius because suddenly you had a ring of like 89 people around a central spot who couldn't really leave. Right. And they were all just happy to sit in a circle together. Yeah. Um, Hopefully a little warmer. You know? So you had, you had the power to go in the middle and bore them for any length of time. It's like a musical performance or a political statement or anything. I hope that this is a life changing event for everybody. <laughs> By being bound together by this one giant scarf, I hope that they, they realize that we're all bound together and a little <laughs> warmer for it. I was knitting with uh, the Swatch team in Minneapolis. They're yarn bombers with a cause. So they go out and they do uh, kind of social experiments with knitting. And uh, they use this to bridge the Locker Art Museum and the park, Boring Park. And then they hung uh, knitted goods for the homeless on it. And then the, the homeless people were able to come and take something, but then they were also encouraged to leave a message from themselves so that it was, you know, kind of a, you know, commerce, commerce of the spirit, I guess. You know, we're connected to the people who are on the streets and, you know, they're connected to us. I did it over a year when I was just trying to learn how to knit and everybody kept giving me their extra yarn. I still have a whole bunch more. But then I got good enough to start knitting socks and mittens. This kind of went by the side. So actually, this year I'm going to start something called Uncle Ron's Needle Exchange, where people can come and swap a bad habit for a good habit. They can come and learn how to knit, and wow. maybe I'll have them knit on the ball. We're hoping to get in at Bradley Bowl or someplace, so that one night a month you can come down and you'll wear the thing you're trying.
trying to change around your neck. Like I'm trying to stop swearing, so I'll like I said, I'm gonna stop swearing. And then we'll just sit in it together. Because it's the easiest way to change a bad behavior is by participating in a good behavior. And knitting's a great thing. Thank you. Uh -huh. So what were we, 89 strong? 89 strong. Good job.